Many of our customers find great value in the integration flexibility Okta offers. Understanding O365 app level policies is critical to this flexibility because it not only applies to O365, but applies to all Azure AD authentications. The ability to specify a custom user agent string is the latest addition to that flexibility. But before we dive into the custom user agent string and how you can use it, let's talk about the different types of authentication. In Okta, traffic is broken up into two distinct types of traffic, modern and basic auth, which is also known as legacy auth. Basic auth is simply the legacy protocol used for authentication. It takes a username and a password entered at the login box and sends them to Microsoft and then to Okta. While modern auth, on the other hand, uses more advanced flows, oftentimes it uses an embedded web browser which allows authentications to flow through additional flows used for MFA. Both authentication types can occur with a federated domain. With domain federation, we have two entities, Okta as the IDP and Microsoft Azure AD as the service provider, which is where our domain lives. Because of federation, any traffic destined for this domain will be automatically routed to Okta for authentications. When traffic comes in, we look at the originating endpoint to determine what type of traffic this is, either modern or basic auth. The authentications are ultimately routed to the O365 sign-in policies where they're evaluated. Looking at the policy stack, we see that the default policy in our O365 app blocks all legacy auth. But since this policy is at the bottom of the stack, policies created above it can override this setting. So what does this have to do with the custom user agent string? Well, here's the scenario. Back in our federated domain, we now have a Windows 10 machine here registered with Azure AD. When a user logs into that machine, after entering the credentials, Windows 10 reaches out to Azure AD for a PRT. Notice, when you enter credentials here, there's no prompt for MFA in this flow. That's because this uses a legacy protocol that's treated as basic auth. This exact scenario is very common because many customers are using hybrid domain join devices. And so to get around this, many have allowed basic authentication. So here's where the custom user agent string comes in. We now have the ability to selectively allow the Windows 10 user agent string in its own policy. This policy should be created above the default policy. Stacking them this way will allow you to allow authentications from Windows 10 devices while still blocking all basic authentications from everything else, ensuring your security posture is protected. Since the O365 sign-in policy affects all Azure AD authentication, understanding it is key to your use of things like Autopilot, Windows Hello for Business, and conditional access. The custom user agent string gives you the flexibility to craft these policies to best suit your needs and is currently EA. For more information, be sure to check out help.octa.com. Thanks for watching.